Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. So send me your Bible questions. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast. I'll do my best to give you a Bible answer. And again, please keep your questions Bible-related because that's what this ministry is all about. Nothing else matters as far as I'm concerned except the Holy Word of God. And that's why I also teach the Word of God verse by verse and have been for over 30 years and three complete archives going through the Bible verse by verse. I said three are found at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, and that's at thebibleversebyverse.com. So study the Word of God with me right there, and thank you for any questions you might send. We have one today from a listener who writes, Mike, what does the Bible teach about self-love? Well, it teaches, the Bible teaches nothing about self-love because God doesn't have to teach us to love ourselves because self-love is a given. The command to love our neighbors as ourself is not a command for us to love ourselves and then to love our neighbors. Like the psychologists say, and used to, I don't even know if these guys are still on the radio. I got so fed up with Christian radio several years back because there was so much psychology that I just quit listening. Some of the old broadcasts that I grew up as a Christian for the last 40 years listening to have become psychologized rather than the Word of God being taught. So I don't even know if they're still on the air, but it was, it was just such a, such a, a, a great number of, Christian so-called psychologists, and so much of their blather was about self-love and God commanding to love ourselves and, and even making statements like, you can't love others properly until you learn to love yourself. So you have to work on self-love. And I can remember blasting these people many years ago saying, you, if you focus on loving yourself, you will never get to the point where you are satisfied with the level of love that you have for yourself. So you can forget about loving others if that's a prerequisite. Again, self-love is never commanded by God because it's a given. The command to love your neighbor as yourself means that you are loving yourself. That's a given. So now go ahead and love others like you do yourself. And somebody says, well, I don't love myself. I know I don't love myself because I hate how I look or I hate how I feel. I can't stand myself. No, you love yourself. You don't like how you look, perhaps. You don't like how you feel, perhaps. You don't like the mistakes that you have made in your life. You don't like how you have ruined your life up until this point. You don't like that. But that doesn't mean you don't love yourself. It means you do love yourself. You love yourself so much that it makes you angry and upset and depressed because your life isn't everything that you want it to be. Well, if you didn't love yourself, you wouldn't care. If you didn't love yourself, you would say, I'm glad I don't like how I look. Oh, I'm so glad that I made a mess out of my life because I can't stand my, myself. If you didn't love yourself, you would be happy that you couldn't hold a job or that some, somebody left you that you cared about. You love yourself. God does not God does not command us to love ourselves. Self-love is a given. It shouldn't even be an issue with us. We should be focusing, number one, on loving God. And number two, the expression of loving God is loving others. And love does not have anything to do with feelings. It has everything in the world to do with doing what is in the best interest of the person that you say you love. So focus on loving God. And focus on, focus on doing what is in the best interest of others. And forget about self-love. You're doing it. It's not a problem. Believe me. If you have a question for me, please send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.